In this video, I'm going to show you how to get cinematic footage using a smartphone. Clear and go! If you want to know about making a cinematic video with a smartphone, and you want to know a little bit more about the theory, then I suggest you go and watch the previous video that we just uploaded um, about cinematic video with an iPhone. Even if you were using any smartphone, that video will work and make sense. So I'll put a link to that in the card above. But if you want to know more about what it looks like, the actual physical doing of it, well then this is the video for you because today I'm going to show you what it looks like when I go and film some clips to make a short b-roll segment for your travel vlogs or for your travel video uh, for Instagram, YouTube, or wh whatever it is. This is how you do it. In case you're wondering where I am, I'm on Lion's Head, uh, Signal Hill, uh, that's Table Mountain just behind us now. I'm gonna go find a little spot here and get some shots. This is one of my favorite places to shoot in Cape Town. I'm often by myself even though I'm right in the city. The city's just here in front of Table Mountain. Best place to be. Today I'm gonna use a Huawei P30 and try out two or three of the, the slow-mo functions on there. So any phone that has slow-mo on it is good for this. First things first, when you arrive at a location like I am now here on Signal Hill in Cape Town, you want to be aware of what's around you. You want to spot things that are going to work for your first scene in your video. So this is going to be my first scene where I'm talking to you and the, the structure of the video that you're going to want to get is a talking segment like this and then have that b-roll cutaway segment which looks something like this and go. And then it comes back to me and then I tell you a little bit about where I am and how it's going and what's happening and then we go, but check this out. And then it comes back to me and then we can move to another location. Anyway, that's the structure of a good travel video, of a vlog video. And the good thing is you don't have to layer your B footage over the talking segments. We don't have to do this where now you're seeing the tree but you can hear my voice but instead you can go, I'm going to show you the tree. And that was the tree. You get what I'm saying. It's about putting it together. The reason this is so important, why I'm telling you this, is because most editors on a smartphone, smartphone video editors, editing apps only have the single track function and I don't want that to scare you off because it's absolutely fine and most successful videos pe people like Peter McKinnon use this method of going there is the footage here I'm talking there is the footage here I'm talking so you can do that too I'm doing too much talking I want to show you what this looks like so I've arrived at my location and the first thing I'm gonna do is scout around for what I see and what I want to film so the first thing is there's some trees over there they're blowing in the wind I want to get that I say that there's these green leafy reeds here uh, with Table Mountain in the background looking good um, there's some yellow flowers there some purple flowers here it's Robin Island there's the city um, and then there's a path. Maybe we can get some walking, walking down the path shots. So I've already identified almost 10 things that I can put into a B-roll segment for this particular location, for this scene. And that's exactly what I'm going to go do now. Uh, I'm going to grab my phone out, uh, put it on slow-mo and apply all the rules that, that we spoke about in the previous video, which if you still haven't seen, you can go watch that in the card right now and then come back to this. But let's start with the purple flowers over here and what I want to show you and this is quite interesting is it's not a cinematic location where the flowers are they're just here on the side of the uh, car park just on the floor I mean that's let's go have a look at that th th that's it I mean that's that's all there is here it's a little flower but 
what we want to do is with our phones make that look amazing make that look epic um, and then do the same for all the other things so let's set that up let's the first thing that's going to be quite important is to make sure that we get eye line with whatever subject what that we're filming so in this case this little purple flower over here i don't want to be filming it from the top where the background of the flower is just going to be ground um, it, it just it's not appealing it's not cinematic so if you remember in the in the cmcm rule and if you don't know what that is then you have to go and watch this video another one um, the cmcm rule yeah well the first c there is for composition and this is why that's so important you want to get down and you want to get eyeline then the m the cm is the movement that you want to add so let's open my camera i'm gonna go to slow-mo and I'm going to find my starting position, make sure that the focus, I'm going to tap on the screen so that the flower is in focus. I love my background. I'm going to lock the focus on the flower and record. And now I'm going to roll forward. And roll back. I did three different varieties. I did the push forward on this one, I did the roundabout, and then I did the transfer between the two. Um, and then we'll see a little bit later which one, which one's gonna look the best. All right, moving on to the next location. Remember I also said that shot variety is gonna be very important. So that was, for example, a nice close up. With these trees, I'm gonna do a much wider shot. I'm gonna find a nice setup like this. Okay, there were two things that I did there. I did a walking forward shot and then I also found a nice composition and then I just did a move away from that. Slow, steady, sort of roundish movement to get that. I want to do this one again with a different, with a different lens, so a wide angle lens. Cinematic's not all about the slow-mo. Slow-mo is just the cheat that we use to make it look that way. Real cinematic can be normal speed as well, but it's then about getting that epicness into it. So an epic landscape can be filmed at normal speed. So with these trees blowing in the wind, it might be, might be cool to just film it at 60 frames a second, uh, which I can do 1080p at 60 frames. So I'm going to do that on not slow-mo and just get a nice wide angle lens because this phone's got uh, three, three lenses, so wide angle, a zoom and the normal one. Video go. Let's try that again. I'm gonna do normally I wouldn't teach this, but sometimes you can also add in a little bit of tilting of the screen, but very slow. So instead of tilting like that, you tilt with your hand. There's one more wide over here on this side that I want to get just with the island. So far I like the lens on this phone, I like all the features, but I'm not 100% sure about the end quality compared to the iPhone, that's just my personal opinion. With these nice wide shots, it often makes sense to get a good foreground interest. So I'm seeing these yellow flowers in the foreground and I'm going to try and just get them at the base of the screen. This path over here, I'm going to get two different shots. The first one is going to be the POV, the point of view of what it looks like walking down the path. And then as I said in so many other videos, it's about your experience. So it's you are also an important part of the video and that POV is supposed to be you walking. So we want to get a follow up shot for that where we can actually see what um, the reverse which is basically me experiencing this path and this walk so I'm gonna find a place to uh, um, put this down and then watch myself walk past uh, the, ca the, the phone and I'm not gonna use a tripod I'm just gonna balance it on a rock here somewhere so first things first uh, on slow-mo again because we want to take that wobble out we just do this that's the one Something like that. That there. Rolling. 
Yeah. Okay, so I might be inclined to do that one again because the shot wasn't great. What I'm looking for is, again, some foreground interest. Maybe a little flower in the foreground, like this over here. This is pretty good. So, uh, get right down here. That's the one. Let's go. I think we've got 10 shots. I'm not doing all of them at slow-mo and the reason is that the slow-mo function uh, takes down the quality of the image sometimes. So it's very much more just for those uncontrollable movements to bring them into a more controlled environment or way. Um, but if you've got something still like this, you'll see on this clip now how, how much more beautiful it looks when it's just normal filmed. These lenses nowadays have such a nice depth of field. So, just a few seconds on this, and that's good enough. I hope to God there are no snakes in the grass. But you gotta get the grass shot, especially when the gust of wind comes. So again, I'm filming this at 60 frames, I'm not in slow-mo. I want it to just look better, and I'm happy to slow it down just a little bit. All I need is a slight bit of movement, with some nice reeds in the foreground like this. Okay, out of the grass. That took me five minutes at the most. I got to my location, I spotted my things, went to them, got the composition, got that movement in, and then when I get back, I'll add some of the other CM, which is the color and the music, and uh, we'll leave that for another video. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like to get the cinematic shot. It's quick, it's easy, and you just have to the most important part is to keep your eye awake. Just be aware of the world around you and look for those opportunities and then just get them, pack your phone away, live in the moment and have a good life. <laughs> My name is Dean Parman. This has been TravelVids.tv and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please also check out the playlist at the end here. Let's move that over so I go to the side. Here's a playlist for you, which has got a whole lot of other lessons about cinematic video with a smartphone, uh, all related to what you saw here today. Better explanations, deeper explanations. This was just a little bit of a show and tell out in the bush. I needed to get out. All right, 